Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are on part 62 of the Sims 4 Supernatural Generation series. Generation series. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Um, yeah, so we're back. Um, Arla's taking a shower right now outside in the rain, so don't mind him. And he's just about to turn into a werewolf because of Rampage, but yeah, um, he's a little busy. It looks like there's Lou out here also in his rampage, but otherwise, last part I did mention that we're going to be celebrating Arlo's birthday today, so we are doing that. Uh, I don't think I'm going to make a party or an event, but I think I'm, we're, we're going to go somewhere to a community lot to celebrate, and we're going to invite um, Lucy and Lucian, and we'll see if we'll invite anybody else, but otherwise yeah and also Eleanor is pregnant as well she's almost in her third trimester or is she and um I did have uh Eleanor and Arla woohoo off camera and that's why she has those moodlets over there yeah she has she's very close to third trimester but she's sleeping right now um so she's having the the night off <laughs> um but arlo you know he's being busy uh because he normally sleeps during the day but yeah let's get this part started and i'm going to stop rambling now all right so there is a thunderstorm outside right now and it's pretty crazy but it's fine i don't know if i should just let arlo loose with his rampage now we did last time let us contain him contain the beast. We'll let him do that. So actually I probably will go off camera since um, he's doing that and the other Eleanor and Ambrose are sleeping so oh, let me turn that off so he doesn't get more angry. Um, but yeah so oh I also went to go collect the moon petal um, at the top of the the mountain peak over there so because this is the full moon yeah <laughs> since it's the full moon uh so we have that all right um so i'll be back when um probably somebody's awake all right guys so it is morning and eleanor is awake and she's having her breakfast right now i just put arlo to sleep so he's just going to sleep and little ambrose is waking up right now and he is having moon madness. <laughs> but he's actually in a pretty good mood. I fed him before he went to sleep last night. Oh, well, he's angry because moon madness. <laughs> Alright. We'll have him play with with uh, Fenry Chomps a lot, Jr. <laughs> Um, so yeah, when Arlo wakes up later in the daytime, why did she stop eating? Come finish your food. She had her orange juice though. Oh, probably because he threw a ch tantrum. Oh gosh. Did he use the diaper? We'll have to come back down there to clean him up. Let's put this away or not. Uh oh. We didn't pay the bills forgot. Alright. And just finish our uh, meal here. Imagination skill 3. Please, thank you. Goodness. Alright, we're gonna come down here and give him a bubble bath, I think. Yeah. Yeah, she's she's gonna pop any day now. <laughs> she's gonna have the another baby. Who's calling? Okay, I guess. <laughs> go ahead. You can go, please, or not. Are we not giving him a bubble bath? Arlo, why do I can't? Why is he awake right now? Don't put the radio on. You hate loud noises. Goodness. You need some sleep, please, Arlo. Are we not allowed to give him a bath? 
Maybe that's the reason. Alright, well, come down here and practice making some, some drinks. I guess he's on his own for now. I need her to get to level 3, I believe. Yeah. So, practice that for a little bit. Um, let's open. I think those are bad, yeah. Let's have you eat some pancakes. There's one left. What? No. <laughs> or there's more left, but... Perfect. Why are you going all the way downstairs to eat that? Alright, she needs to go to the bathroom. Alright. You didn't finish your meal. Don't, don't. Yuck, that was good food. Okay, he's still gonna eat it, I think. No, he's not. Eat the pancakes. I hate when... Go and experiment, I think. We haven't worked on uh, any of our skills. Witchy skills. Spellcaster, I mean. Not witchy. Okay, he's done now. Should we try and give him a bath now? Because he's, uh, smelly. I know, I know. Okay, maybe I'll work. Or not. I don't know. Change diaper. I think this is the issue. Yeah. Um, you need to get your diaper changed, sir don't want to. Alright. Ask to say mommy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't be doing this when he's uh, being defiant, but... We'll be, it'll be fine. Why is she already tired? I might have her take a nap. She can come take a nap when she's done. From speaking toddler. That's cute. All right. Let's get rid of that plate. Um. Tome of Plentiful Needs. He can look at that. <laughs> Go ahead and look at a book, I guess. All right. So she's just taking a quick nap because she's tired. Oh, he can get up. He can definitely get up. Oh, did I forget to put that in the refrigerator? Wonderful. I want him to do most of the werewolf's um, interactions so his experiment experience goes up. faster. <laughs> My light reaction there. Okay. And then hunt for food. Oh my goodness, he's very tense. And we're gonna go out to celebrate his birthday once he gets back and she's up. You probably should go to the bathroom. 
Acne immunity, smooth and bright. Um, I can go ahead and grab a serving. Nice. And then we're going to groom self, and he's going to be completely fine. <laughs> As fine as can be. He's almost there at apex, so close. And we're gonna have to work on uh, Eleanor here. Yeah. All right. Oh, let's go brush your teeth quick. We'll have her brush her teeth too. Oh my God, how is she so tired already? Uh, we're busy, sorry. <laughs> Is there an event going on right now? No, there isn't. So we're just gonna go to a random, maybe to a bar or something. Alright. I'm gonna have them travel. So, we're taking... Lucy, Lucian, and Eleanor. I think that's everybody. I would take Riley, but Riley isn't really good friends with <laughs> with poor Arlo. So we'll keep it small and simple. I don't even think I'm gonna Oh, maybe we should go somewhere with a refrigerator so I can bake a cake. Or we could go to a restaurant. I still have those restaurants placed um from when we went last time. Maybe we can go there instead, although I just fed them. Hmm. I mean, they could just go for drinks, and then they can order a birthday cake. I think that'd be cool. Right here. It might not work out too well, because uh, it's bugs. The <laughs> restaurants anyways, but we'll try. So let's head over. We made it. I'm gonna go request a table. Hopefully, <laughs> Eleanor makes it through before passing out. Appreciate Lucy. Why not? Invite to feel baby. You really have a nice smile, Lucy. I hope that you can smile more. It's cute. She'd be like, hey, you guys should have another one too. Oh, our table's ready. Oh, we're outside. It's a little windy outside and chilly, but I guess we'll take it. From where? Oh, Lucy. Right. Alright, I'm gonna order us drinks and then we're gonna get the cake since pretty much eight or I don't know about um, Lucy and Lucian <laughs> just get milk <laughs> we came to the restaurant just to drink milk um oh Lucy not Lucy um Eleanor probably shouldn't be let's get Eleanor some fruit punch <laughs> um we're gonna get a root beer float for Arlo over here. Sparkling apple juice for Lucian. Maybe cream cola for Lucy. And I guess we can get Lucy and um, Lucian something to eat. Um. That sounds good, I guess. <laughs> How about a garden salad for Lucian? Sounds good to me. And we only spent 41 simoleons. Festering bitterness. This festering bitterness needs to leave. Oh, we get the warming lamp. I forgot about that. 
Okay, so it's not too bad. She's coming now, okay. Perfect. Okay, bring it to us quick. <laughs> oh no, he's growing up now. <gasps> we didn't even get to bring out the cake. <sighs> well, it happened. <laughs> We're almost there. All right. Adulthood, fulfilling dreams, planning for retirement, and midlife crisis awaits. The perfect time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals. All right. <laughs> Bennett. Oh, my God. He's a child. Bennett sent Arlo a gift. How nice. That's cute. Well, I guess we're just here for drinks. Yeah forgotten birthday. <laughs> My bad. It's okay. They're like not chatting at all. Um, say something to Lucy. Ask about her day. Oh, they they just started chatting. Let's see. Um, deep conversation. They can have a little chat together. Oh, she's tired. I hope uh, those drinks come in soon. Comedy level two. How long do drinks take to get to us? We're not even getting... Oh, we got... Lucy and Lucian food, I forgot about that. Still. The one thing I hate about dining out pack is how long we sit here for nothing. Uh oh. Well, there goes Lucian. Arlo, you turn into a different type of werewolf. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Starting to lag a bit. Okay. Beastly sight. Oh my goodness. I might have to send Eleanor home. She's not gonna last. She is not gonna last. I think I'm just gonna send her home, guys. She can go. It's fine. Alright, so then it's just us three for now. Hopefully, Eleanor doesn't go into labor. Oh, she is tired. Alright. Finally. Thanks for the long wait. I'm glad you like your beer float. Maybe we can still bring out the cake quick. SimCity cheesecake. Yes. Get back over here. Get us cake. Nice. That well, that came quickly. We should have just got that first. I'm just gonna have them eat one. Pa a plate. There we go. Perfect. Um. God, I can't believe they're not friends. Let's see. Bright and day. Deep conversation. Oh, he went back. Okay. Cheesecake sounds good to me right now. Okay, guys, finish your food. Hmm. 
Hey, I was... <laughs> she took the plate away and he's still eating nothing. I don't know anymore. Oh yeah, I have to start using some recyclable... Not recyclable, but, you know, eco-green things because uh, Arlo has the recyclable... What does he have? Um... Where is it? Recycle Disciple. That's what he has. Yep. So we'll see. I'm waiting for him to finish the food. I'm going to put this in our inventory because we paid for it. Guys, are you done? I don't care anymore. It's almost 3 a.m. We're, we're giving up this table. <laughs> Uh, I wish that this pack, the dining out pack or whatnot, forget whatever it's called, was uh, better than this, but we get what we get. All right, we're heading home. So, yeah, that was his poor birthday. <laughs> but at least we did kind of go out and enjoy ourselves. So here we go. So we just made it back, but before I went into recording, I did go into buy mode and get this, um, my goodness, what do you call it? Um, oh my goodness, the sun, I can't think. <laughs> um, what is it called? Solar panel. Oh my goodness. My mind is completely out there. <laughs> I got us one solar p panel um, on the ground because it was cheaper than the one that goes on the roof. And I also got us um, the home recycler. So I think that's what Arlo would need that could be part of his tray or whatnot. So yeah, um, don't mind me. I, I know what a solar panel is and I know what they're called, but I was just, <laughs> I'm losing it. Um, still partly sick. <laughs> I'm gonna have him... Well, let's try and use that recycler, actually. While we're here. Um... Do we need the ball? I don't know. Maybe I'll come in handy. Let's get rid of these, actually. Why does he have a countertop in his inventory? I don't know. Um, pile of fur can go. <laughs> Raw meat is probably spoiled. Oh yeah, I have to put that um, cheesecake away. Good thing I saw that. Perfect. Alright, let's see him do this. That's the first time I see Scotch using that pet pen. And I'm glad. Oh, look at him. I like that pose. <laughs> All right. Mm hmm. Nice. I'm gonna have him go to the bathroom. He's gone. Okay. Received your first bits and pieces from using the recycler. Hover over the recycler or the household funds to see how much you have. You used to craft items using the fabricator and to fuel water and power utility producing objects. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Um, so what was I going to do? I wanted him... Oh, let's open this time capsule. Quick. See what's inside. Dr. F. We actually have a few of these now. Um, I wanted him to read a few of these books. Since... Maybe it will help us with experience or whatever. An ability. Of 
Oh, I didn't know they do that beforehand, before birth. I never had that sent to me before, unless this is like really new. Where was it sent? Since there's a baby on the way, some social services has provided complimentary bassinet for the little one. Oh, we're going to read that one too. Where did they put it? Yeah, she's probably going to have it very soon. Oh, she's in labor. Oh, goodness. <laughs> um, okay, let me read this. Then we're going to handle that. This particular page appears to have a shimmery enchantment over top that Arlo is able to read through. Non-werewolf sims seeking occults and answers have visited the town for decades and even more come looking for a cure to the werewolf curse. Moonwood Mill might in fact be the singular location one of the cure ing ingredients may be acquired. Moon Petal. Oh, we have that now. Uh, when mixed with Lewis wolf, oh my goodness, Wolf Spain, the effects are quite potent and have been known to remove the curse upon consumption. Wolf be gone cure. So that's why they sent us, because we've been in labor. Did this pop up? Why didn't it pop up that we were in labor? It didn't. Oh my god, I don't think she has time to go to the hospital. Should we try? Maybe that's why I never waited. Should we go with them? Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. How do I get out of here? Okay, don't leave yet. I want to see this bassinet. I need to find it. Wherever they put it. Unless they didn't. And it's glitching. I don't see it down here. Okay. Just double checking before we head out. I don't see it. Unless I'm completely blind. I don't think it's here. All right, we're going to go with her. Um, probably going to see her glitch out on the operating table. But that's okay. All right, we're going. Let us go together. <laughs> um, she's already she's already going. It's uh, very late now in the labor stage. Why is he angry again? Oh, he has his new fang from being a small werewolf. I love that one. Oh, it gets, it gets even worse because the first one was angry with plus one and now it's plus two. So I guess it goes up in pain level <laughs> for the toddlers, which is really... Not good for them, but that is a really cool detail, I think. All right, let's see. <clears throat> I already have some names that I thought of, so for both boy and girl. So let's see. The girl I already had kind of planned out from last time. I was hoping it was a girl the first time around, but then we had Ambrose, but we'll see. All right, so here we go. We're expanding our family. Actually, let me try to get a little screenshot here. <laughs> Maybe you should try to get one with a... Uh, hold on. With his face like that. Kind of in the background, maybe. And uh, poor Eleanor lying there. With her face like that. The skeleton's kind of ominous right here. It's okay. get that plum bomb out of there all right sorry guys we are continuing now Let's see what the doctor is seeing here um oh it's a stork so you do not need overwhelming aggression right now Arlo okay Oh, we have a little girl. Okay, that's exciting. All right, so the, the name I have picked out for a girl is... Starts with an L. <laughs> I was thinking of Lennox. I don't know why, but 
Lennox just sounded right to me. So I think we're going to have little Lennox, Lennox Bateman. I think that's a really cool name. Yeah, so, oh my goodness, I can't believe we had a little baby girl. Oh, we have twins? <laughs> well, I guess I can use my other name too. <laughs> oh wait, but then if we have twins, maybe I should do another L. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it doesn't need to be another L. So the other name I had picked out for a boy, which now it's a boy, <laughs> was actually Casper. So Casper for <laughs> the little friendly ghost Casper. That's the reason I wanted to name the boy Casper. So <laughs> so we have Casper Bateman. Um, I can't believe we have twins. I swear, if it's triplets, I'll, I'll faint. <laughs> but okay. Okay, it's, it's twins. It's twins. All right. So we have... I swear the doctor just said it's a girl. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Um, so we have little Lennox and Casper Bateman. This is very exciting. I can't believe we just had twins. We're already at three children now. My little baby. New baby. It's exciting. She has the same. Alright, they're going to be heading home. Thankfully her needs went up. Staying at the hospital. And he's going to have to go to sleep. Alright, so... Oh, I, I love twins. I can't wait to see um, if they're a spellcaster or a werewolf. But, yeah. Alright, so we made it. <laughs> Ambrose, Lennox, and Casper have returned from daycare. Alright, let's see where they landed. <laughs> oh, gosh. They're both in uh, Ambrose's room. And it looks like they have two different... He's not happy right now. He has that new fang pain, and he also has the unwanted sibling. He is angry. Oh my goodness, they locked him into the corner there. All right, let's 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 move them. But what I was saying before is that they actually have two different bassinets, and it looks like one is a spellcaster bassinet, and the other is a werewolf. So it looks like we had twins that are two different occults. Which is interesting. Um, I don't know if I should expand now. I think I'll expand for the next part. So I'm going to expand the basement again. And I don't know if I'm going to give them both separate rooms. Or for now maybe just give them a room together. Since they're twins. I'm going to... So sad. But I'm just going to you know leave them here for now. But by the next part... Um, I'll have a room set up for them or rooms. We'll see. But oh my goodness. They're so cute. Alright. Why don't you come bottle feed? And she's gonna come breastfeed, I guess. Okay, so it looks like Lennox might be a werewolf. And little Casper will be a spellcaster. Oh. I love it. I'm gonna have to take a screenshot of both of them. Oh, he's angry. Why don't you talk to Scotch here? Okay, maybe not. He might get angry. Go ahead and do something else. Go ahead and play with a new toy. Alright. Let's cuddle quick. I always like to cuddle. And cuddle. 
And then I'm going to put Arlo to sleep after he's done. Oh. Oh. Maybe I can get a nice screenshot of them holding them together like that. Ah. Try to get as much as I can here. All right. Could be the thumbnail or maybe not. I'll give away the twins. <laughs> They're so cute. Alright, so Arlo's going to sleep. Eleanor, poor Eleanor, will be left alone with three children. Oh gosh, here it starts once again. She's probably thinking, why me? But she finally has her own spellcaster child. It's not confirmed, but it's most likely because of the bassinets. I'm going to have her come experiment for a little bit more. I want her to gain some rank as a spellcaster. And then maybe we can potty train little Ambrose here. I wonder... Oh my goodness. He's only one day away from growing up. We barely taught him anything. Well, his imagination's about to go to level 4. Maybe we should uh, focus on him. I'll let him get to level 4 and then let's see maybe level maybe thinking level we have to work on too harvest fest is tomorrow um he has some spoiled pancakes lovely let's get rid of those where is his tablet he must have left it somewhere but where? Huh. That's interesting. Aw, he chooses his toys. So another... I'm waiting for him to do it again. Of course, of course, I'm coming. Come on. Come on, do it one more time for me. I need to see it. Oh, there he goes! So, another little detail for a little werewolf toddlers. That's cute. Oh, oh. New fang pain. Yeah. So I guess it gets worse and worse as he gets older. Gets closer to aging up, maybe. <clears throat> Alright. <laughs> Let me potty train you, please. No, I don't think he's going to become a secret agent. Hey, no, 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 wait. I got to get her out of that uh, hospital gown. Okay, that works for me. All right, so I think maybe we can do a little meet the baby event. Oh, maybe not. There's twins and it's a little hectic and we'll have Harvest Fest tomorrow, so we'll have that event to worry about. Thank you, Stanley. It's just, we've been in the basement all day. I always forget to check upstairs, see if anyone's come over or anything happening up here. But nothing new. And Arlo's still asleep. All right, level two. Mm. 
No, oh, he's pretty hungry. Let's open. Bring this out and have him pot plate. Hopefully it doesn't go bad. I don't think he has enough time, but we'll see. I think, yeah, polish to perfection. I knew there was going to be a mess. And then we're going to empty, empty the litter storage. Get out of there, Scotch. And then maybe have her go for a jog. She hasn't really done any athletic things yet in a while. Okay, you need to hurry. You are not doing good right now. Before it goes bad too. Um, I'm gonna have him put him to bed. I think. Oh, let's invite him in. Celebrate recent birthday. I don't remember that. Yeah, go talk to him quick. I didn't want to just pop up without asking, do you need any help? Can I come see? Yes. <laughs> Speaking of. All right, well, is he going on his own? I guess he is. What the? Oh, scotch. Oh. You should show off the babies. Okay, well, first we're going to put him to bed. Because he's not going to bed yet. Go ahead and do that quick. Eleanor should be coming home soon. Um, are you jogging in the basement? Okay. Ah, <gasps> what's this? Oh, the chair is shredded and torn. Okay, <laughs> I was like, did he get attacked? <laughs> Put him to bed, please, please, please. Oh my God, they're both like that. Scotch. How could you? No. Why don't you show off to Lucian? That'd be cute. Go ahead and wolf down some food. Oh Lord. Oh, I'm glad you don't think my llama jokes are getting old. I feel like you just get me. <laughs> well, oh jeez. Excuse me. Yeah, watch out. I, I do not like when sims do that. Like, you're in my way. And get leftovers. Alright, well I'm surprised at how many sims actually showed up even though we didn't really invite anybody, but I'm trying to show off to Lucian here. It's like, look at my baby. You need one too. <laughs> Well, I guess he's not coming. He's not interested. 
All right. Well, I'm thinking of ending the part here. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think next part. Should we know the twins go aging up? Somebody's aging up. So, oh, well, yeah. <laughs> Ambrose is aging up tomorrow. And it's Harvest Fest, so very eventful. And then the next day, literally, the twins are aging up. Um, so I'm definitely going to be adding more rooms into here. Um, still debating on whether it should be one room or two rooms for the twins. We'll see. So th there's going to be more here. And maybe I'll start adding a library or whatever I was talking about before. And then we get to celebrate all the other events, you know, in the next part. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye! <laughs>